How about a joke to lighten the mood? Let's keep things respectful, please. If I, there's anything else I you apologize. want to talk about or... I apologize for yelling at you. So, as I'm sure you've likely heard, the voice feature in ChatGPT has been rolled out to everybody with a Plus subscription or a Teams subscription if you do have one of those. So, I wanted to make a quick no-nonsense like test video to see if this thing is actually useful in terms of productivity and enhancing your, I guess, day-to-day -day activities. So, I'm just going to quickly give a brief overview of the voice options. Pick one and then put it to the test to see if it is useful or just kind of a gimmick. Hi, glad to meet you. I think we're going to do great work together. Okay, so Where like a start? British guy. Hey there, I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. Okay. How can I jump in and help? Perhaps middle-aged hey, female. Hey, what's up? Feel free to ask me about anything that's on your mind. This is I'm ready soul. to go. Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? Breeze. I'm really looking forward to working on some cool stuff together. Hey, how's it going? I'm looking forward to working together. Spruce. Let's figure out where... Hello. It's lovely to meet you. If there's anything you Val. want, please don't... Hi there. I just want to share how thrilled I am to work with you. Co. And I can't wait to get... Hi there. Nice to meet you. I'm excited to help you Maple. get things done. Let's get started. Hey, I'm ready to hit the ground running. And so Ember. So if there's anything you'd like me to focus on first, just I am going to go Hi there. Nice to Maple. meet you. I'm excited to help you get things done. I'm still here. What's on your mind? I have a black MacBook from 2007, and I was wondering if you could kind of walk me through the process of taking the RAM out. Sure, but keep in mind it can be a bit tricky, so proceed with caution. First, shut down your MacBook and unplug it. Remove the battery by flipping the MacBook over and sliding the battery latch. With the battery Hold out, on a second. Could, we're, I'm going to need to go a bit slower, so right now... The machine is shut down, it is unplugged, and I have it flipped over, and I need to do what now? No problem, take your time. With the MacBook flipped over and the battery removed, you'll see three small Phillips head screws. Well, hold on, I, I didn't actually remove the battery yet, I'm sorry, but so how would I go about removing the battery now that the computer is flipped over? No worries. With the MacBook flipped over, look for the battery release latch. It's a rectangular tab. Slide this latch and the battery should pop up slightly, making it easy to lift out. Well, I see a circular latch with a battery lock and unlock symbol. Um, it seems like I, I need to do something with that. Exactly. Turn that latch to the unlock position. Once you've done that, the battery should be loose and you can lift it out of the MacBook. Awesome. I have that now and the battery popped up and I have removed it from the MacBook. Great. With the battery out, you're ready for the next step. You'll see three small Phillips head screws along the edge of the battery bay. Unscrew these and keep them safe as they're tiny. Okay, I'm unscrewing these now, so just uh, give me about a minute. Okay, well, I have the three screws loose and there seems to be a panel that has now come loose as well. Okay, the panel has been removed and I see um, what appears to be RAM. Now, I don't actually really know much about computers, so I'm not quite sure uh, if I'm looking at the right thing, but it is green. Sounds like you found the right spot. The green sticks are indeed the RAM. They're held in place by small levers on the sides. To remove the RAM, gently push these levers outward. The RAM should pop up allowing you to pull it out carefully. Okay, I see one lever, so I'm going to pull on it. Sounds good. Gently push that lever outward, and the ram should pop up at an angle, making it easy to slide out. Well, I pushed the lever, and it seems like the ram unseated, but it's still kind of in there, but it is loose. So what should I do now? Gently pull it out at the same angle 
it popped up to. Just grip it by the edges without touching the gold connectors and slide it out. Okay, I have it in my hand and looking at this, I've been asked to identify the specifications of this RAM. So if I read to you what it says on it, would you be able to tell me something about it? Sure, go ahead and read me the details and I'll help you decipher them. It says 2GB 2RX8 PC2 6400S. Okay, here's what that means. The 2GB is the size or capacity of the RAM, which is 2 gigabytes. The 2RX8 indicates the configuration and type of memory chips on the module. PC2 6400S tells us it's DDR2 RAM with a speed rating of 640 mega transfers per second. The S stands for Small Outline Dual Inline Memory Module, which is used in laptops. Wonderful. Thank you so much. That was very helpful. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could help. All right, so that was actually kind of impressive in terms of, I have a ton of experience with these MacBooks, but it really walked me through pretty much everything properly. And more impressively, it actually identified, okay, there are the three Phillips screws which hold together the, um, they hold the hard drive and the RAM, which is absolutely correct. And then it kind of got the lever to actually pop the RAM out. This one was actually a little stuck because it popped out randomly while I was talking to it. But that's, uh, I mean, from a functional standpoint, so far from my first very basic test on this, it seems like it could assist in troubleshooting scenarios, which is pretty cool. Absolutely. I'd be happy to help you practice Farsi conversations. What topics are you interested in? Well, how about you just say something simple to me in Farsi and then I will respond um, in that language. Sure. Let's start with something simple. Hane shoma chatorast. Man khub hasam. Shoma khub hasti. Manam khuban. Merci. Ruz shoma chator bud. Ruz man khube. Merci. Ruz shoma khub hast. Khosh halam ke ruz khubi dashtin. Ruz manam khub bud. Merci. Shoma chi dost dari harf bezani? Har chi shoma dost dashte bashid. Dar bare ge safar, film, musiqi ya hatta qaza. Wow, okay, we can switch back to English now. That was um, very impressive, and I hadn't even intended on doing that. I was just filming B-roll, so thank you. No problem at all. Glad I could help, even if it was just for some B-roll. If you need anything else, just let me know. All right, so I didn't even mean to film that seriously. I was just filming B-roll to show you when I was doing the laptop. That's really good. Now that is something I think this may absolutely excel at is teaching people a second language or something. I would, I would not want to own one of those companies right now where you learn languages online. Um, it actually, if you look at the chat here, so that was just simple stuff like, hey, how's your day going? Like, what do you like talking about? Like, blah, blah, blah. But wow, very cool.